All right, we're trying to see which pellet works best in the Benjamin Trail NP. These are the ones I've shot today. We've got the Crossman Premieres, H&M Field Target Trophy, H&M Barracuda Match, Beeman Crow Magnum, RWS Super Dome, and the Beeman Field Target Special that are copper plated. So, first thing I did was chrono all of them. I just did five shots and then average. It's pretty cold out today. It's 30 degrees and it started snowing on me. So didn't want to be out too long. And then I shot five shot group for each one. Uh, this is the RWS Superdome averaged uh, 697 and that's 15.65 foot pounds. Um, we got three shots in one hole and then two other ones. These seem to fit really like loose in the gun so I don't know if that's it or if they just don't like it. Um, the next one's Cross from Premier. Uh, not too good. It's alright, I guess. But, uh, and these were all at 20 yards. But it seemed like this was a little off. Because these are some other groups that I've shot with the Premiers. And it was a little, these were 15 yards, but it should be pretty close. That, that one was at 20, but I mean. The variety is like I shot this group, and I shot a really good one, pretty good still, and it opens back up. So I think it's just kind of random almost how those ones shoot. But those shot a uh, 689 feet per second, and that's 15.08 foot pounds of energy. Uh, these were ones that I was expecting to do pretty good to the H&M Barracuda Match. They're a 21.3 gram pellet. It was pretty heavy for the regular trail gun, but they only shot 561 and 14.89 foot-pounds. They shot fairly good. I got two here, two here, and one high. So I think if I did a little more work with that, I could keep them in the same. And this is all a stock trigger and everything. I don't have the... GTR or whatever. Um, these are the beam and crow mags. They're 18.21 grains. They average 608 feet per second and 14.95 foot pounds of energy. These shot pretty good too. We have three all right in the center there and then two here. Um, I really wasn't trying to shoot for the center on the groups. I mean they're all going to group different. I just want to see how close the pellets are to each other. But that one looks like it has some potential. These ones were those Beeman copper ones. They shot a 692 and 15.66 foot pounds. Those are 14.7 grains, but I mean we got four shots right there, all pretty close, and then just one flyer. I think if I shot some more, especially on a nicer day when it wasn't 30 degrees out, it might help a little bit. Did I have to have gloves on? But those are pretty good. And H&M Field Target Trophies average 667 and 14.49 foot-pounds. These are the 5.54 millimeter ones that offer them in, I think, three different sizes. But as you can see, those shot pretty good. But uh, one thing I did notice is before I started shooting these targets, I kind of did one just to see where I was at, like where my zero was, make sure I was close. And these all shot right on with those field target trophies. And then when I switched a little bit, now I'm uh, almost exactly two inches high. Each one of these squares is two inches. So that's kind of, I think I switched kind of the hold how I was doing it off of the bags. And it seems to affect it a little bit. I mean, they still group you well, but it's just the point of impact change from pretty much dead on in that one to two inches high on that one. So I kind of have to watch that. But all these other ones were shot off the same. But I'd say probably the field target trophies shot really well and those beam and FTS copper plated ones and probably the crow mag could maybe work too. Just shoot them a little more. I like the barracuda match the heavy ones. I would I need to shoot them a little more and see if they'll group a tad better but they seem to do well out farther, like uh, the wind doesn't affect them. It's always windy here. I'm in Iowa. It seems like it's always windy, so. But uh, that's that. Uh, I do have the Chrono 
videos. They're not really that interesting, so I don't know if I'll put them all on YouTube or not, but that's what I got so far.